right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, we got patch notes and all that type of stuff, man. Look, they fixed the mama mentality badge. They fixed the park, it seems like. Looks like interior defense is better. I don't know, man. The game looking like a W so far right now. We don't know because I haven't played as much as I would like to, but I'm seeing people play on Twitch. The uh, PlayStation patch dropped. Mike Wong is back from the uh from his hiatus. And yo, I, I don't know, man. I'm just excited. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video, man. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's just get right into these patch notes right after this. Nito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me sad. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, so right off the bat, man, y'all already know what it is. The guy Mike Wong is back from hiatus, and he just says, Next Gen Patch Update 2 is live. Option to change your shot meter color. Uh, major improvements to the city. Less frequent contact dunks. All of this stuff that I dropped in the My Way Patch Notes last night. This is everything. I was right. My career, uh, my NBA, and the uh, W fixes and more likeness updates. That was probably one of the main things they wanted to drop there, man. But we got the actual official patch notes uh, right here. And uh, you know, they dropped it in one of them courtside joints, man. Don't even pay that no attention because we just gonna go down here. And uh, you know, it just says, uh, baller alert. The second update for NBA, I mean, for next gen version of NBA 2K is now available on PS5 and Xbox Series S and X, bringing multiple improvement uh, fixes, polish, polish, and uh, quality of life changes to the to the game across modes. Some of the highlights in this uh, damn, let me let me change the dark mode, man, because it's so hard for me to do it. There we go. Some of the, uh, some of the highlights in the uh, uh, include gameplay adjustments, around player movement, and contact dunks, city performance, new player likeness improvements, and more. Here's the full details. I don't know about y'all, man. Can y'all even? I can't even read this stuff in when it's in light mode. It's because I'm I'm 90 years old and my eyes is damn done, bro. Like I gotta be in dark mode on everything. Leave a like and let me know down below. Do you do you do light mode or dark mode when you read stuff like Twitter, Instagram, all this stuff, man? And um, you know, you know what I'm saying. Do you do light mode or dark mode? And uh, you know, do you agree with me on that joint, man? And is you old as hell too? Leave a like. Anyway, here we go. Um, can I do this right here? Nah, that's not gonna show it. All right, here we go right here, because I, I didn't want to cut too much of the court off. You know what I'll do? I will do this. So that we don't cut, cut too much of the court off, we'll do it like that. We're gonna do it live, fuck it, we'll do it live. I mean, forget it. Anyway, um, continue improvements to the lower bowl features across NBA arenas. Uh, resolved a rare hang where we're using an uploaded face scan from NBA 2K uh, app. So good, so I can do my face scan now because I, was, I wasn't able to do my face scan. They need this beautiful face in the game. New sponsorship patch has been added to the Boston Celtics uniforms. That's dope. New York Liberty logo has been updated to the latest design. Toned down reflections on glasses and goggles on uh, coaches and, and players. Uh, what does it say? Improved hair, hair physics on female dancers. That's dope, I guess. I mean, if you're paying attention to it. Uh, fixed an issue with the Atlanta Hawks mascot's tail. What? I didn't even know Harry the Hawk had an issue with his tail. Uh, you know, and I don't even know. Pause. Uh, fixed an issue with Atlanta. Oh, let me see. Likenesses that have been updated. Jimmy Butler, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Jason Tatum, Trey Burke, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson? Phil Jackson in the game? He's, what is he doing? He's he an executive now, ain't he? Uh, Christian Wood, um, Michael Muddler, yeah, what's that? Uh, Yodo, I can't say that name. And a number of other newly drafted people. And they pro that's probably what they did with this one was the main thing. They probably waited till they dropped the draft picks uh, to do stuff and all of that good stuff. So, I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, going up, moving on, it says gameplay. A new option has been added to allow you to change your shot meter color. Okay, that's going to be dope. Uh, we'll try that out. Frequency of contact dunks and alley-oops has been slightly decreased. I noticed that last night, bro. Um, it really seems like you gotta really be in the paint or have your guy really beat or they gotta be coming over late for, for you to get a contact dunk and stuff. And that's how I feel like it should be anyway. You should just be able to push through somebody to get it. Like that's, that was ridiculous regardless of what your defense was. Uh, you just made for brain dead gameplay and, and, and nobody wants that. Uh, multiple improvements to motion including uh, to, take, uh, to take charge animations, V cuts, sprint, uh, sprint launches and dribbling. 
various improvements have been added I mean, have been made to triple threat animations and post behaviors. Uh, improve AI layup selection when close to the basket. That's good, because they were making Brute shoot the ball when he was close to the basket. That was crazy. The Green Machine badge will now properly show up in the HUD when activated. That's good, because some people thought Green Machine didn't even work. Uh, made some changes to prevent alley-oops from being thrown from behind the backboard. Thank you, because that was happening to me. Uh, you know, but it mostly was when I was trying to do my baseline reverse off one, and then I try, and then, you know, then it would do it like that. Um, let me make sure y'all ain't hearing no, no, no crazy other noise. And, uh, free throw accuracy, accuracy has been slightly improved overall. Bro, if you've been playing direct, it don't even really matter what your, what your free throw accuracy. Bro, dude's been smoking layups. Now, I know that we got, that not everybody's 99 overall. And a lot of times, you know, we put our layup down or what have you. Uh, and we put the uh, the free throws up last, but bro, I'm talking about you have that joint right in the middle because I free throw aim mine is right in the middle, still smoke the free throw. So so that's that's a welcome addition right there, man. Um, also we got let me see improvements to the city in the particular uh in particular during gameplay. That's good, man. What it seems like they have done is instead of having everything surrounding you at full frame rate, they have the city, uh, they have the game that you're playing at full frame rate and everything around you it seems like it's in a decreased frame rate, but you're not gonna notice it when you're on the court. I can tell on streams because I'm actually looking for what they changed, but it looks like they just dropped the frame rate of everything in the periphery, and that's completely fine with me because the only thing that's important is what's on the court and what's going on uh, on the court. Improvements in addition to various buildings, objects, and landscapes, uh, lighting in the city. Lighting and shadows, I told you if they change those a lot, then that will help everything. Game recaps on affiliation courts now display a reminder that Games played outside of your affiliations court um, accrue fifty percent less rep. That's something that I want to talk about. Me and All City are good. Y'all tell All City we gotta have this podcast and we gonna do it one of these days and we gonna talk about that rep because I told him I wanted to do it and then he said he wanted to do it and we never got it done. Y'all go over there and spam All City and say All City Jay trying to get this podcast done about the whole rep thing. That's what y'all do right there. Show my guy some love, man. He's a great, great content creator just like Toots Brood and everybody you know he in the description um, also if you having problems copying your PlayStation and stuff go check out Dub CP he down there in the description too uh, anyway um, let me see what do we say uh, you accrue you accrue less uh, what was we at uh, but, but, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, fifty percent. That's real. Fix an issue where the progress was not was not kept in the wreck where all users uh, of the opposing team would quit out. Thank goodness, because people quit on us. Uh, uh, they they quit on us a fair amount. Uh, resolve an issue in the pro am that would cause players to show up as invisible. Thank you. Uh, that was happening in the park too. So I'm not now only friends. Not only friends currently uh, playing NBA 2K. Um, I guess there's now. Now only friends trying to play. I guess that's what they're saying on the phone. Oh, they, they, they did it in two things will be visible, uh, will be displayed on the phone. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there's an option to invite players directly when viewing your friends from the phone. So we got that back. Uh, I said that we talked about that last night. A second set of affiliation uniforms has been added in, in the appropriate stores. Enhancements have been added, have been made to the city map. That's awesome. Address various issues where the try on feature was acting um, irregularly in some stores. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because you, you, you would try it on and they wouldn't even show it to you. Uh, a new storefront has been added for the new balance store in the city. They can put stores in the city? They ain't gonna be the smoke in the city! Uh, address the rare hang that occurred, I mean, that could occur when, when, waiting, when waiting in the Pro-Am lobby after coming from the wreck. That's cool. Corrected some alignment uh, issues with the low rider bike. That's cool. Uh, you need a front end alignment. They hooked y'all up. Uh, op opponent strength bonus is now being displayed in the recap after Pro Am games. That's dope. Socks and Pro Am will now properly respect the sock length uh, set by the player. That's dope. Corrected a player. Uh, corrected a problem in Garage Hoop Strikeout game where several players were involved. Okay. Player will no longer be kicked out of the match if the idle, uh, if idle when the teams are being uh, set up for garage hoop games. Okay, that's cool. Um, garage, oh, okay. Uh, fix an issue where players could could disappear after garage hoops and Gatorade rental. Okay, that's dope. And uh, you know we got some other stuff, man. We're gonna switch over to the. Uh, Let's just switch over to the main screen, man, and, and, and look at it all here. Uh, since we, you know, we almost done with that. Um, my my career. Some people say, well, I didn't have no problem with my career. The difficulty points have for both VC and points 
progression is now being uh, properly displayed in the post game recap. Uh, that's cool. Physical attributes will now be correctly boosted. We're moving from 94 to 99. Zach Timmerman said there was a bug and, and they, they were going to fix it, and they did, so I'm, I'm with that. Fix the rare hang that can occur when attempting to load your my player or your my career save while a player, uh, while a group, while a game update was pending. That's cool. Uh, corrected some it's corrected some issues with uh with entry interested colleges during the high school portion of the long shadow and we ain't really worried about that i i, I, I played it but i ain't had that problem improvements have been made to the post game crowd at the end of the nba games in my career 2k beat songs that have been used disabled will no longer play when returning to my career okay that's cool uh then my nba addressed an issue with the team control uh when entering the g league uh g league games in my in my nba i guess is that my gm now that's what my gm is called uh you will not you will now be awarded vc for playing g league games in my nba okay that's dope uh resolve the hang that could occur when releasing a two-way player uh to free agency that was currently assigned to the g league that's cool address the hang that could occur when attempting to view specific notifications on the main menu uh you can now select teams from both the, the team details and our uh, governor uh details page during the my nba creation ensure that the ring ceremony and banner reveal segments will always appropriately uh, play. Fix the hang that could occur in the in the player training menu when uh, and when attempt when a, when editing a player's focus. Uh, WNBA WNBA playoff mode will now correctly begin in uh, the year 2021 and uh, multiple other stability stability improvements and changes. The main thing is that they fixed the courts and 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 that stuff, man. And the W corrected a rare issue that could have that could make a player. A young player becoming invisible while in the W. Uh, popularity will now properly increase when finishing a game of the W online and address the problem with certain animations being incorrectly equipped by default and uh, not previewing during selection. Pretty much, man, like I said, the only thing, the, the main things that we was worried about, bro, were they fixed the, they fixed the frame drops in the city. Contact dunks are a little less frequent because they didn't make any sense in some cases. And then the last part was, last but not least, um, you know, we, we got, you know, uh, the mama mentality badge is working and we can have, invite people through the phones and they, they did some stuff to the city. Look, the only thing I'm worried about is that they're saying that the game is working now and, and to me, this is a W. Now we can figure out what the real issues are with the game because they resolved everything that happened on day one. So Mike Wong, kudos to you guys and the team. I see why you haven't been talking a lot and tweeting a lot. He's like, I gotta keep my head down, get this game right and get it right for Black Friday so we can move more units and consoles and all that stuff. I applaud you, my boy. When 2K does something wrong, I'm on they ass. But when they do something right, I have no choice but to applaud them. So let's just keep going in the right direction. This is a step in the right direction. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys working hard on this stuff, man. And hopefully we have one of the, what, what a lot of us feel like could be one of the best 2Ks to ever be released uh, now that we got a lot of these issues corrected. I don't got nothing else to say, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is this a W or is it an L? Uh, put a W or L down in the comment section if you made it this far. Give me a gym stars. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,